Hi guys, it's Dong Ngo here. I have some great news. Finally, Apple have just opened its huge can of magic on the 802.11 AC, or AC for short, Wi-Fi standard. You know, the one that gives you the speed of up to 1.3 gigabit per second. On my left here is the all new Apple Extreme Base Station, and on my right is the all new TAM capsule. You know what? Let me do a trick. There you go. I just switch them around without moving them at all. Now I could do that because these two here are basically identical. The only difference is that the TAM capsule comes with internal storage and the Apple Extreme doesn't. That means without the boxes here, you have no idea which one is which, really. But don't worry, Apple had this very clever way of making sure that you do. Well, the price. Now, the Apple Extreme here costs $199, one of the most expensive home router on the market, and the TAM capsule outdoes that. Big, costing $299 or $399, depending on the storage, be it 2 terabyte or 3 terabyte. Now, if you pay that much, I'm sure you know which one is which, really. Unless, of course, if you had them both, like me. But in that case, you don't care. It's just money, you know? Now, what do you get for the money? A lot. First of all, these two are true dual-band Wi-Fi routers, meaning they support all existing Wi-Fi clients on the market, regardless of their standard or platforms. The TAM capsule here can also be used for TAM machine backup wirelessly and also for data sharing. On the back, both of them come with three LAN ports and one WAN port, all of them are gigabit. And there's also an USB 2.0 here to host another storage device or a printer. Now, for the first time, these two devices come in exactly shape and size. Now, Apple called this the top-down approach to design. I'd call it bottom-up. Either way, it's just really beautiful. Take a look at the previous design, like this one here. This is the O Apple Extreme. As you can see, it's kind of squarish, wide, and short. Now, the new one here is thinner, actually very thin, up to 75% smaller footprint. And take a look. Now, the time capsule here actually is barely, really barely larger than the internal drive it has on the inside, as you can see here. It's amazing, really. Now, the new design is also a lot taller or longer, if you want to use this this way, up to 6.6 .6 inch tall. Generally, I believe that thinner, taller, and longer are very attractive. Just look at me. Despite the new design, these devices are still very easy to you. Apple makes sure that this is the case by offering the airport utility as the only way to set up and manage these routers. You can use a computer or an iOS device to manage your network. Another reason why it's easy to you because there's not much for you to change or customize as these offer less feature and option than other similar products. Now about the performance. In my testing, they actually work very well. But since when have you decided to buy an Apple product because of its performance? Exactly. For more performance, check out the full review at seat.com. In the end, you can find yourself rushing to the store to buy one of these pretty fast, even if that means you have to take out a second mortgage on your home. But hey, no judging. I did that too. I got these both. But I did pay with cash though. And that's only because I'm Dong Ngo, and this has been the first look at the all new airport base stations from Apple. Your Wi-Fi and possibly your life will never be the same again. Okay.